Food and Drink Monday, presented by Papa Murphy's, home of $10 Tuesdays. All right, whether it's you, your parents, or your kids, this man has been part of their lives at so many different times. And now on the 50th anniversary of the theatrical release of the Beatles animated classic, Yellow Submarine, he's in town, his own one-man show. Peabody and Emmy winner, Ron Campbell. Nice to have you here, sir. Thanks for being here. It's really a pleasure to be here, Tom. Thank you for having me. Now, you're, you're one of the, well, I want to say animators, but you have been in so many different roles in so many different cartoons and animated films that people have seen. Could you give us a little bit of the pedigree, some of the things that you've been part of? Gosh, um, from 1958 through to 2008, I worked on so many TV cartoon shows, either as a producer, director, animator, um, uh, scriptwriter. Uh, it's been my life, and to me it was just something that I did. And in my old age, I have discovered that people are really impressed by the uh, number of shows I've worked on. But to me, it was just life. That know? was your job. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I did, yeah. And did you ever have any kind of anime, you know, idea that your work, your animation would be considered such classics now? No, not at all. It was, as I say, something I did. <laughs> and now in my old age, I'm meeting the audience instead of them being numbers on a page. And, you know, what were our ratings last weekend, Harry? You know, mm -hmm. was, now I'm meeting the people and discovering how much, how much the audience took to heart the pleasure they got from watching oh, yeah. Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Now kids have cartoons all the time. It's like going into a ice cream store and having 10,000 flavors. You know? mm -hmm. Well, look at all uh, these images that we've seen of the work that you've done. Everything from the Beatles to the Jetsons, which the Jetsons was Jetsons, absolutely one of my favorites. Flintstones, Flintstones, Yogi Bear, I mean, just on and on. The Smurfs. The history of early television uh, cartoons okay. and late television cartoons, but now, not at all. I turn on the TV and look at cartoons now. And unless it's the old-time cartoons, I'm looking at mechanically contrived drawings of characters. Right, right. Computer uh, animated, uh, yeah. things like to that. To my mind, it's not the same. You know? Which was your favorite to work on? No, I didn't have a favorite didn't to work favorite? on. But I have some that I'm more proud of than others, and some that I wish I'd never had anything to do with. <laughs> really? One or two, yeah. You know, but I thought that they were bad. It was just... A personal thing, you know, I loved Superman as a kid, but I hated working on a Superman cartoon. I, uh -huh. you know, I didn't like superhero stuff or, okay. you know, big bang bang shooting and all that. You well, know, now, out of, whim out, of, whimsical. out of so many things that you've worked at, you're in Springfield, you have a one-man show, and it all has to do with Yellow Submarine. Yeah. Well, not all of it. I, I have lots of artwork with many of the other cartoons that I've been Great. involved with. So uh, you don't have to be a Beatles fan to come to the show and get some amusement from it. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, there are artwork from all of my cartoons, uh, not quite all, but almost all. Yeah, yeah. There's like 50 or 60 paintings up, and it's a great show, uh, a lot of fun, and uh, it's free to go in and see it, and uh, uh, everything is for sale, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it's... It, Bring your children and I'll do drawings of Scooby-Doo for them for free, okay? There you go, because everybody that, can That's going to be yeah. Tuesday yeah. and Wednesday at the Alamo Draft House. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it's free and open to the public. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, I look at the different art that I'm picturing in my mind of all of these cartoons. Were you at all... I, I don't know, uh, 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 held back in a way by, for instance, Yellow Submarine, because that was kind of a Peter Mac style. Did you have to conform, or were you able well, to no, express you always, yourself? You always have to work with the designs that are established for a show. Mm -hmm. We call it staying on model. And uh, it was actually art, um, uh, uh, psychedelic art, yeah. which yeah. Peter Max took and built a career for himself True. on it, a lifetime career, actually. But psychedelic art came in in the 50s and uh, was very popular in advertising art. And uh, it seemed an appropriate style to use for, uh, for the Beatles at that point in their career. And it was a, a very effective uh, oh, a device for the feature film. It yeah, worked very well. It really mm -hmm. was. And you brought a lot of happiness to a lot of lives through your art. And you can learn more about Ron Campbell again. Alamo Draft House, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thank you so much for yeah. coming in. Thank you, Joy. What Thank a you treat. Very much. Thank you very Absolutely much. Absolutely a treat. <laughs>